355 members of the Cardano community voted to fund a project aimed at helping any or all small island nations, which depend on tourism for a big part of their economy, to grow revenue. The Universal Tourism Payment System, UTPS, is designed to help small island nations take control of the tourist industry. Limiting Negative Impact Capturing Most of Tourist Spending, Onshore The international tourism industry is structured to do three things. Increase the number of tourists traveling to a destination. Lower the cost of those visits. Capture and keep as much of the tourist spending in their own pockets away from local taxes. Island nations, offering a pristine environment, like Palau, on the other hand, can only accommodate a certain number of tourists. An unlimited number of visitors will only spoil the attractiveness of their offering. UTPS is a system based on blockchain technology that can be implemented sooner rather than later. Using blockchain technology that exists today. Capturing spending on island. A tool to increase total tourism revenue. Creating a usable database of customers to build community. Promoting donations to island initiatives. A tool to balance the load on fragile resources. Providing the capability to track what visitors do and where they go in order to provide better public safety. Every small island nation leader, business owner and employee wants earnings from tourism to grow. Responsibly. In a positive way that enriches both visitors and islanders' lives. But our worlds are changing. We can use digital tools to help reach two goals. First, our goal is to use these tools to enrich the lives of our own communities. Second, to control the negative impact of tourism on our natural resources and on our society. Primarily by controlling the number of visitors at any one time or season. And by enticing those people who think the same as we do to visit our island. Respecting nature and our community. The main point of this presentation is to offer ideas that are doable today. Using tools that are available and proven that they work. Web3 is here. Payment systems like cards and QR codes are accepted worldwide. A simple blockchain wallet is central to the system. Visas can be represented by smart tickets, NFTs, allowing entry to events and places of interest, in reasonable numbers. Because the system is on phones, geo-tracking is possible. Data is collected on-chain for future reference, if needed. Normal point-of-sales devices accept and process payments. UTPS uses technology that is practical, doable and works today. Palau already requires visitors to complete a Palau entry form within 72 hours of arrival. With digital technology that exists the Palau entry form can be changed to be a mobile application. Technology helps us to take off, fly faster, further and more safely. Let's use it. The system revolves around an on-chain visa. As mentioned, Palau already requires visitors to provide personal data to obtain an entry visa. Using a rather simple form. The UTPS builds on that form, transforming it into a mobile application. That includes payments. Provides tickets to visit special sites. Enables tracking. To learn more about visitor habits and to support improved public safety. Blockchain technology makes this all possible. Once in Palau the mobile device can track where and when visitors go. And in the case of criminal activities or missing persons, the tracking feature, linked to the visa, can help public safety officers. The next section of this video gives an overview of the system and explains the components which make up the Universal Tourism Payment System. You will see that each of these components already exist in working form used by the many of the same people who are expected to visit Palau as tourists. Implementation of the UTPS requires integration and customization of existing technology, not R&D of new technologies. Nor does the system require major changes in visitors' lifestyles. As well there are benefits for individual Palauans to use this same system to make their own purchases, or to organize events, and even to earn interest. Merchants will find that the UTPS simplifies their Palau goods and services tax system compliance. While we can see that payments are a major feature, the visa element offers much more granular degree of control than just approving plane landings. And of course control of visas gives Palau the tools to manage the country of origin, 
numbers and type of tourist on a daily or weekly basis if needed. The load on and access to fragile sites can be more easily balanced, again on a daily or weekly basis. Geo-tracking coupled to identity can be a powerful tool for law enforcement. PTST management or administration is streamlined. And visitors avoid currency exchange losses. Palau can target higher value visitors, those who spend more, and those who share Palauans' respect for their island environment. And using the visa approval process, over time, say as visitor levels grow to what seems to be unattainable levels, Palau can increase the minimum spending requirements to raise the same amount of money, from fewer numbers of visitors. What are the main risks and how can those risks be managed? Technology risks can be managed by basing the system on a public blockchain, one that exists and is managed by the community of stakeholders. Rather than attempting to create a private blockchain managed by the Palau government, However, as the system proves valuable and human resources were homegrown, Palau would have the option to create a purpose-built private blockchain and offer to implement the system to other island nations. Risks associated with adoption are most easily managed by making use of this system law. Just as Palau requires all visitors use the Palau entry form, and the US requires all visitors to use the ESTA visa on arrival approval system, then if a visitor wishes to come to Palau, they must use the system. Next, let's look at an overview of the system. How it works step by step from all sides. As soon as the visitor, we'll use the term user, begins to log on, the application opens a crypto wallet in the background. It can be custodial, meaning the government controls it. Or what is called non-custodial, which means the user controls the wallet. Being opened in the background, the user does not notice at this point. When the user confirms they are applying for a visa, they must top up their wallet with the required visa application fee. This fee is non-refundable in most countries. When the system alerts Palau Immigration that the visa fee has been paid, the Immigration Office performs its normal checks and approves or denies the visa. Once approved, the UTPS system mints the visa in the form of a unique NFT, non-fungible token and notifies the user that the visa is provisionally approved for the number of days requested, advising that the visitor should deposit the required funds into the wallet. Deposits can be made by payment application credit card or debit card or bank transfer. Once funds are deposited, the NFT visa is activated and the visitor can safely book travel and accommodations. We said the technology for UTPS exists. Let's look at the individual components. First step is the technology to open a crypto wallet in the background without bothering the user, who may not understand cryptocurrencies. Anyone attending the blockchain summit has used this technology. See what Moongate.id explains. The Palau blockchain summit ticket provider is the same example of the Web3 technology already working. Persons visiting the Moongate.id website can open crypto wallets and fund those wallets. In the case of Palau Blockchain Summit, the payments are received, credited, NFT tickets are minted and sent to the visitor. As Moongate.id explains, the NFT ticket, consider it to be a visa, can also be used to enter events, provide verified access to restricted sites and used for many purposes. The Palau Immigration Team is the component that evaluates and decides to approve or deny the visa application posting their decision the blockchain as metadata for minting the NFT. The remaining components are a method to mint NFTs, well-established technology, a QR reader at Palau Airport Immigration Desk to verify the validity of the NFT visa, and compare the person to the photo in the NFT and their passport. Then all merchants must have a merchant's version of the UTPS application, probably on a mobile phone and the Palau government would have an administrator's version of the UTPS application and Palau goods, and services tax administration version. But manpower, hardware and infrastructure to host those two applications would be small. This diagram illustrates the overall flow of a purchase from the user's point of view. From purchase, that is payment, at the point of sale, processed through the PNCC mobile network to the wallet server. Then either for conversion to fiat, dollar, and to the merchant's bank account, or through a cryptocurrency processor to the merchant's cryptocurrency wallet. The flow from the merchant's side is the same Sorry, up to the last okay. steps. Okay, it's okay.
Since the merchant has collected PGST, there is an obligation to send that money to the Palau government, and to account for the PGST the merchant has paid versus what has been received, and pay only the net amount. On a monthly basis this can be a lot of paperwork and accounting. One feature of the UTPS is to pay the amount of VAT collected directly, as cryptocurrency, to the merchant's account with Ministry of Finance, making the accounting much easier. This is an option. The Universal Tourism Payment System was developed by four senior people experienced in their respective fields. Three having studied and received Master of Science degrees in blockchain and digital currencies. The fourth has been Asia Pacific and Africa CEO for major payment system suppliers. An expert in his field.